my name is Maria. Welcome to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to talk about how a Christian woman should conduct herself in a relationship. So I'm really excited to dive into this topic because I think it's so good to talk about. Um, I think it's something that oftentimes it's not really spoken about that much, um, but we're going to get into some things. So I'm excited. Stay tuned. So the first scripture that really covers this idea that I was just speaking of comes from 1 Peter 3.1. And it says, Wives, in the same way, submit yourselves to your own husbands, so that if any of them do not believe the word, they may be won over without words by the behavior of their wives. And this one is really speaking to me. It's really... It's something that I live in every single day because you have to be certain in your faith and your belief in Christ as a woman. Because one thing that I have noticed about men is that men sometimes can be very indecisive. And that's not to say that they are not Christians one day and Christians the other day, another day. But what I'm saying is that sometimes it's easier for men to kind of get out of their calling or easier for them to kind of sway away from God, especially when they have so many other distractions that's going on in life. And so as women, we typically are the ones to seek God more. We are the ones to seek help more. Um, we are just the ones to seek to try to just continue to be better and better each day. Whereas men kind of sometimes will be a little more relaxed in those areas. So as the Bible has said, it is our calling to submit ourselves to our own husbands so that if any of them do not believe the word, they might be won over without words by the behavior of their wives. So it's calling us as wives, as women, to continue to fulfill God's promise, to continue to stay close to God, to continue to stay connected to God, to continue to pray to God. Even if our husbands, even if our boyfriends, even if the man in our life is not doing those things, even if they are being disobedient to the word of God at that moment, it is your job and your calling as a wife, as a woman, to slow but surely bring them back to where they are supposed to be which is the scripture of God and the book of the Bible and how God wants us to live and so that's the first conduct you as a calling and your calling as a woman you are not called to fall into the same exact trap as your husband may have fell into so it's important for you to understand your calling and say, okay, although sometimes it may not be a fair calling, this is what God has called me to do. And so I must make sure that at all times I am on point and that I am staying in constant communication and constant connection with God because there may be times where my husband, where my boyfriend, where the man in my life is not being obedient to God. And so two wrongs do not make a right. It makes no sense for us as the woman to go and fall down that same rabbit hole as our husband, our boyfriend, the man in our life is doing. So that's our first calling and the first way that we should be conducting ourselves as Christian women. So the second idea that the Bible instructs us as Christian women to operate in comes from the Bible scripture, 1 Peter 3, 3 through 4. And it reads, do not let your adorning be external. The braiding of hair and the putting on of gold jewelry or the clothing you wear. But let your adorning be the hidden person of the heart with the imperishable beauty of a gentle and quiet spirit, which in God's sight is very precious. And this one really speaks to me also. Um, I just really like the fact that it emphasizes like, do not allow your adorning, which means do not allow the parts of you that are so admirable be the outward appearance. Don't allow it to be the braiding of your hair or the jewelry you put on or the clothing you wear, like those material things. Your heart should be gold. 
that's what should be the goal that you put on every single day and that you operate in every single day not the gold earrings or the gold watch or the gold necklace not those things so god is really letting us know that as a christian woman the way we should be conducting ourselves is focusing on our inward appearance and our character and how do we treat people on the daily basis how do we speak to people on the daily basis how do we operate in our relationships if we are in one do we uh belittle do we talk down to our boyfriends to our husbands or do we have that quiet and gentle spirit that the scripture states that god sees as very precious and that really is like big too because a lot of women these days um i see like are like maybe like just like a little bit more louder or like a little bit more rowdy and it's just god is saying that like the more quiet and calm woman is more precious and i'm not saying for a second that when your emotions get the best of you um you know there may be a time when you kind of just react off of emotions and you know you lose that poise and that calmness but what god is stating is that regardless of what it is that may be going on and regardless if something has a warranted response to maybe want to get angry or yell and scream and get rowdy the job and the uh, calling of a woman of a christian woman is to remain quiet and calm because that is precious in god's eyes and the way that we can articulate our feelings and our emotions if we are feeling some type of way should still be in that more calmer sense and a respectful manner and so um that one really spoke to me like i said because it's more like a heart check, right? It's like rather than buying the most expensive jewelry, buying the most expensive clothes, always looking nice on the outside, how is your heart? How do you feel? How do you talk to people? How do you treat people? And that is the most important thing to God. And that is what God is seeking from the Christian woman. That is what he is seeking from you to operate in every single day of your life that is more important to god than any outward appearance okay so the final idea for today of how a christian woman should conduct herself comes from proverbs 31 verse 26 and it reads she speaks with wisdom and faithful instruction on her tongue now i have probably said before in many videos but my favorite word in the world is wisdom. I love wisdom. I love, 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 love. Like honestly, if it was not a sin to get a tattoo, I would have a tattoo on me that says wisdom. That is my favorite word in the world because I think that the amount of wisdom that you have is irreplaceable. As you continue to just get wiser and wiser and wiser, it allows you to give those faithful instructions so as i continue to educate myself and as i continue to go through things throughout life i am able to gain that wisdom and that knowledge to apply it and once i apply it to my own life or if the scenario does not come up for me to apply it to my own life but i'm able to apply it to my families or my friends or my boyfriends whatever the case may be because I am connected with God and I'm able to hear from God, I am able to speak from my tongue with faithful instruction. And that's what God is saying right here in the scripture. For us as women, as Christian women, to be in tune with what it is that God would like us to say to those around us. What it is that God is praying and hoping that he was able to communicate to us and us actually receive it not just being able to communicate it to us because god communicates to us all the time but god is just waiting for us to be able to receive it so that we can speak with faithful instruction on our tongue 
And that's so, so, so important as a Christian woman, as a woman, period, to be able to have that wisdom, to be able to apply it and to give to others around you because it could really come down to like a life or death situation. So as I conclude this video, I really just want to leave you with one last scripture to kind of sum up the entire message and kind of break down exactly what it is that God has called us as women to be. And it comes from Proverbs 31 30 and it reads, charm is deceptive and beauty is fleeting, but a woman who fears the Lord is to be praised. And really what it comes down to is that as a woman, yes, it's nice to be attractive. Yes, it's nice to have nice things. Yes, it's nice to be beautiful. Yes, the outside appearance is always a great thing. But the main promise that we have to give to God and have to continue to operate in is being faithful to him. That is what God is looking for from us as women. That is our calling. The beautiful, beautiful thing in the world is a woman who is faithful to God and is able to continue to operate in her relationship with God, even when the husband may have been bleeding away from God at the moment or the household itself is maybe like, at a place where they're not connected with God. And as a woman, our job is to bring everybody back to the Lord and continue to stay faithful, continue to stay poised and continue to operate in the calling that God has made, set out for us. So that concludes this video. Thank you so much for watching. I know this may have been a lot, but um, I really think it's some good stuff and I really hope you did as well. Please be sure to let me know if you did by leaving in a comment below. Let me know if there's anything that you know you may want a little bit more clarification on or anything of that nature. Honestly, thank you so much for watching. Like I said, do not forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll look for you again soon. Bye-bye.